Joined now in Sydney by uh, Matt Scott and his dad Sean. Um, Sean, you managed to make it to Newcastle. <laughs> your uh, your reaction to the game? Oh, it was a, a, just a fantastic experience. Uh, there's, um, I, I think there's been a finer feeling. I thought I'd uh, reached a high in terms of uh, supporting rugby and obviously supporting Matthew uh, at the Heineken Cup quarter final against Toulouse. I mean, that was just a, a fantastic experience, but this just even tops that. Uh, to be there where you know, Scotland great history, I think, uh, in uh, beating Australia in their backyard for the first time in 30 years, but only the second time ever. Uh, Matthew's first start for Scotland. Um, we have family as well. I've got uh, brother in law and sister in law, and uh, niece were up from Nowra, south of Sydney, with me. Uh, great family experience and just a fantastic uh, sporting experience as well. So when did uh, when did Matt here let you know that uh, he was in the team and you must have made your travel plans pretty quickly? Well, I had to. It was a fairly short notice. He maybe slipped me a wink uh, just slightly before the, the team was announced to uh, uh, the, the, the world, but purely because he knew I wanted to come uh, and if he was going to start then I needed a little bit of notice. So, But I was wanting a secrecy and it was it stayed, uh, it stayed secret until uh, uh, officially it could come out if you like. So, uh, so I, was, I was grateful for that, but uh, I'm really glad it came down. It was just, uh, couldn't be beaten. And uh, your reaction at the end of the game? I have to say, uh, I welled up a little bit. Uh, I don't mind admitting it. And uh, I've been saying to the guys, I've got a phone to home, a lot of friends and family have contacted me since. And there's some grown men who have been in rugby, you know, since they were nippers, uh, admitted that they'd uh, shed a tear at the, the final whistle as well. Because uh, some, maybe some of the younger generation don't know what that means to the rugby uh, sort of fraternity back home, especially say, in my generation. that. Uh, this doesn't happen very often and uh, a really emotional experience, fantastic. Matt, uh, turning to you, it's obviously been a, a great time for you, yep. first start and all the rest of it. The fact that your dad's been able to come out and see you, what did that mean? Oh, it means the world and uh, yeah, just dead chuffed that he was able to come and, uh, come and see it. Obviously, uh, they, they missed my first cap unfortunately because I wasn't uh, actually in the team. Uh, I was only put in the team you know, half an hour before kickoff, and uh, so it was great that uh, you know. I'm just really chuffed for, for for my dad to come and uh, obviously see my first start.